In problem 3.13, we are asked to find a commutation relation x to the power n and p. What is this equal to? They prove that this is equal to i h bar n x n minus 1. As we have already proved this thing, that the canonical transformation As we have already proved that the canonical commutation relation x and p is i h bar. So if x goes to the power m then this will be equal to this. We can prove this thing by just writing the relation. We know that any commutation relation a, b power 2 operators this is equal to a b minus b a. Now let me mention here one thing that while we study the commutation relations why they are important in quantum mechanics when two operators commute like a b and it is equal to zero a b minus b a and this is equal to zero then two commuting operators will have same set of eigenfunctions. Their eigenfunctions will be the same. So, although their eigenvalues will be different, but their eigenfunctions will be the same. They will have same set of eigenfunctions when two operators will commute. So, I can write, in light of this, I can write x to the power m and p is x to the power m and p minus p x to the power m. And now I can apply this on a function. So a function f here and similarly this I can apply on a function. So now I can put the values here. So this will be x m and for p I will write the operator which is d by dx and the function will come with this plus this will be minus and again I will write for p t by dx and then x n and f will come. So this thing is equal minus i h bar and x to the power n df over dx and then minus minus become plus and ih bar and now I will have to calculate here that this one f is also a function of x and xn so I can write that n and x to the power n minus 1 derivative of the first function and then second function plus first function and derivative of the second function. So this is the relation and now if I look here then this term is cancelling with this term. So these two will cancel and I will have i minus i h bar and then this is this is plus i h bar and n x to the power n minus 1 and f if i remove the f on both sides here and here then this implies that x n p is equal to i h bar n x n minus 1 and hence this is the proof of the one of the part of the problem 3.13. We will now solve example 3.8 and in example 3.8 we are given a system in which there are two linearly independent state one and this is 
one zero and two is zero and one and the most generalized uh, linear combination of these two states is such that we are having this is the generalized and the normalized linear combination S and this is A times 1 plus B times 2 as this is a normalized state so it will have A square plus B square equal to 1 better we keep them in mod so this is equal to 1 now the Hamiltonian can be expressed is equal 2 by 2 matrix which is H G and G H where H and G are real constants so the question is that if the system system starts out at t equal to zero starts out at t equals zero in the first state in one in state one then what will be the state then what will be this state when t will be non-zero means at any other time t what will be the state of the system now the solution of this example is we know the time dependent Schrodinger wave equation which is i h bar and d psi by dt this is equal to h psi this we know the time dependent Schrodinger wave equation and then the general solution of this equation is that psi is equal to summation on m where n is 1, 2 and so on cn and sn a coefficient in e to the power minus i e m t over h bar while the sn's are actually the solutions of the time and dependent Schrodinger wave equation which we have also wrote earlier is psi n so this one is big psi and this one is psi n and such that e such that we are having h psi n equals e n psi n so based on this i can write that now my state is actually this state not psi so i can write that i h bar d over dt of s is h and s similarly psi so i will write this no not psi but s and this is equal this is capital s and this is equal to summation on m where n is 1 2 and so on c m and i will write s n here okay better i write this psi n here then it will be much good so psi n and here s and n so it's like this 
and e to the power minus i e n t over h bar and h s n is equal to e n and s n. So we will have to now find out the eigenvalues, eigenvalues and eigenfunctions of the H which is a matrix here. This is our Hamiltonian and to find the energies we will have to find the eigenvalues and the eigenfunctions of this H. First, so we will have we will have to find eigenfunctions and eigenvalues of H and then we will have to find this coefficient and then the coefficient whose mod square is equal to 1 which is the probability. Now in order to find out the eigenfunctions and eigenvalues of H, we are having the general formula, the determinant of H minus E, E being the eigenvalue times I, I being the identity matrix. So is H is 2 cross 2 matrix here, so identity matrix will also be 2 cross so we will have this thing equal to 0, the identity matrix will be also 2 cross 2, 1, 0 and 0, 1. So I can write that this thing determinant this is equal determinant and here I will write that H is H G G H. matrix minus the E and 1, 0, 0, 1 and this is equal to determinant and this is H, G, G, H minus multiply this one and it will become E, 0, 0, E and this is equal to 0. I can further solve it. The determinant of this thing is just subtract. So H minus E 0 and H minus E H minus E G minus 0. So we will have G here then G here and H minus E. So <clears throat> this thing is equal to 0. This implies that H minus E whole square minus G square is equal to 0 and this I can write with the help of a square minus b square formula. So this will be equal to h minus e h minus e plus g means a plus b into h minus e minus g is equal to 0 and I can say that the values come out to be h minus e here, h minus e will be equal to g and h minus e will be equal to minus g. So I can write that if I will have two values of this, so I can write that e1 here is h minus g because when e will go there h minus g so this is h minus g 
and the value of energy E2 will be when this goes here then H plus G. So we are having H minus G and H plus G. So E1 and E2 values are like this and now we will have to find the corresponding eigenfunctions so we will have to come back to this equation and this will give us the because this is h psi e psi so psi is the eigenfunction and now we will have to find the eigenfunction so h psi and for psi i will have to write n here and this is equal to e n and s n here where n is equal to 1 and 2 here with us because we are having two states and s being the state which is equal to a and b from here s is equal to a 1 0 so it will become a and 0 1 this one so b so i can write a b here now i just is number one step i go like that the very first one h g and g h and i apply this on a b and i put first eigen v which is h plus g here h plus g and this is a b now i will have to solve this one so this implies that h a plus g b h a plus g b and g a plus b h g a plus b h this thing is equal to h plus g times a h plus g times a and h plus g times b and matrix so i will have h a and h a here so these two are actually let me write this in this form and then they are i will do the cancellation so h a plus g b is equal to h a plus g a and the second equation is that g a plus b h or h b is equal to b h plus g b now there is some cancellation and the cancellation is h a is cancelling with h a and b h is cancelling with b h and from here i will have g b is equal to g a so g g will cancel and i will have b equals a similarly here g g are cancelling and a is equal to b so the same thing a is equal to b and b is equal to a so both these means that a is equal to b and I will have the very first state which is S and I will write 1 here because N is equal to 1 here and this was equal to A B. Now A is A and B is equal to A so I will write that this is A A. Now I can do normalize this state and to normalize this state i will have the condition that s 
when multiplied with s this should give 1 and I now write for s I will write e a while if they are going to the bra notation then that will become the column will become rho and it will be conjugate as well. So a conjugate and a conjugate multiplied with this and this is equal to 1. So I will have a conjugate a will become a square and then a conjugate a again become a square and this is equal to 1. So it means 2 a square is equal to 1. Uh, this implies that a is equal to square root 2. So I have the state S1. I have the state S1 equals to 1 over 2. And that means the a is 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 a, you take a common and 1, 1. So I am having 1, 1 here. So this is the very really first state and let me define this one. That is, I got this part plus value h plus g. So I call this one the s plus state. Similarly, if I 